Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where I have got a new kind of video here. I mean it's not. Like, I've done empties videos in the past, but I think most of you all know how awful I am at empties videos in terms of filming them regularly. So I wanted to try and amend this, you know, so that I don't just get on camera and it's like, hmm, it's been a year since I've used this product. I really can't tell you much about it. So instead, I have been saving up a little collection of mini clips from the day that the product was done. So I can tell you exactly how I felt about that product. You know, I've been using it for forever and now it's finally empty. Let me tell you about it. Does that sound good to anyone? Like, I think that's a great idea. <laughs> At least for me, it makes so much more sense and I don't know why it took me this long to get around to doing empties this way. But I hope you guys enjoy it. So you will be seeing the empties in just a second here, but first I wanted to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Scentbird. So thank you Scentbird for sponsoring. I figured it was a good sponsorship for this video because one thing that you will probably never see me have in an empties video is a full big old bottle of perfume. And hence why I love Scentbird. Perfume. It's one of those things. I love it. I wear it almost every single day. It elicits all of the good memories and gives all of the good feels depending on the scent that you put on and what works with your chemistry. I love perfume. It's a magical thing. However, depending on the day, depending on the year, depending on the weather, depending on the season, I wear a different perfume. I have never, I really don't think I have ever been through a full-size bottle of perfume, even the smallest full-size bottle of perfume. And so, like I said, that is where the glory of Scentbird comes in. They come in these fantastic vials. They are deluxe size for sure, but they've got all different colors for these things. And it's nice because they are magnetic, so you can just pop it off. And if you have a particular color that you love the most that you wanna bring with you that day or something, when you put this in your purse, I mean, A, it's great for travel because it's got the lock on here. You can see when it's in that position, you can't spray it down. But then when it is in that position, oh, now you can spray your perfume. So great for travel, nice and compact. It's not going to spill out everywhere in your purse. And then like I said, if you want to change up the color or the perfume inside of the color, it's just really simple, a magnetic closure, bada bing, bada boom. Now we've got this beautiful baby pink. So like I said, super easy, super compact, super customizable in that sense. I love it. And I also love that I get to try out different perfumes. A, perfumes that I've never heard of before and B, perfumes that I might otherwise not try for myself. You know, it's easy and fun to pick out new ones when you know you're not wasting hundreds of dollars on a bottle that you might not even end up enjoying. So yeah, if you haven't gathered already, Scentbird, it's a fragrance subscription service that allows you to try out a design designer fragrance each month for only $17. Like I said, you get these honking vials. They are extra deluxe and they last such a long time, especially if you're like me and you just are a few spritz in the morning, maybe once or twice throughout the day. That's... Oh they've lasted me so nice and long. They say this is a 30 day supply. I say it lasts way longer than that. That's just my own personal experience though. But yeah, definitely at least 30 days you can get out of this. Plus Scentbird has over 600 designer brands that you can choose from for their perfumes. You know, classics like Prada, Gucci, Versace. But then they've also got niche brands like Confessions of a Rebel and lots more. And unisex options. So they've got perfumes, colognes, and unisex scents. So for this month, the scents that Scentbird sent me to try out. The first one being Ariana Grande's Ari. See it right there. I have heard such good things about Ariana Grande's perfumes, but I've just never tried one myself. So I'm gonna give this a try today. I actually haven't put on perfume for the day yet. Mm-hmm. It's pretty much what I was expecting. Oh, but so delicious. It's so sweet with a very slight hint of fruit, like, but mainly vanilla sugar. That's delicious. They say the top notes are raspberry, pear, and grapefruit. Ah, and base notes of marshmallow. I get the marshmallow most of all. Mm, just delicious. I can see myself wearing that one a lot. I've also got Hermetica's up here. My apologies if I pronounce any of these wrong. So many perfume brands are languages that are foreign to me, so I apologize. I'm not trying to butcher the names, but this one sounded delicious. You can tell I'm a bit of a pear freak when it comes to perfumes. Uh, this one has pear, green apple, and caramel scents to it. It's supposed to be fruity and gourmand, vivacious and sweet and floral, just supposed to be surprising and 
and delicious, so I am down for that. And then also we have got this one right here from Foop, is that correct? 3910. This is supposed to be a lasting amber gourmand signature scent that's gonna be exotically warm and also give party summer vibes. Got saffron, rose, sandalwood, cashmere fusion, and something I can't pronounce in it. So definitely excited, always excited to try out new perfumes here. And especially, especially excited because if I end up liking it, I know I've got this huge vial that's gonna last me a long time. So if you guys would like to try out Scentbird for yourself, I would highly recommend it. Just make sure to click the link down below to head on over to Scentbird's website, or you can scan the QR code here and use my code THRIFT55 for 55% off of your first month at Scentbird. It's only about eight bucks for your first month. That is incredible, you guys. So much perfume for so little money. I don't know how they do it, but I sure am happy they do. So yeah, like I said, thank you once again to Scentbird for sponsoring, and also thank you guys for wanting to support me by supporting my sponsor, by checking them out. I hope you give Scentbird a try. Like I said, I love their service and would highly recommend it to anyone else who's interested in perfumes. But now, on to the empties. All right, so first things first. I know, I have never looked or sounded better, but Oh, thank you, Fig, for agreeing, I know. Do you think I'm pretty? Do you think I'm pretty? The audacity. Anywho, so, this product that I'm sure you can read perfectly, the Aussie Instant Freeze 20 Hour Max Hold Hair Gel. This stuff is my favorite, and it is very out. Hopefully, I just cut off the top here. Maybe I can recover some. Just a little bit more, sir. Uh, I don't know, I think I squeezed this bottle to its last squirt. All right, well, a testament. I love this stuff. It is lovely. I usually use like four times as much, <laughs> but it's a hair gel that one of my friends, Vern, introduced me to. I still use it to this day, and I love it. It smells like delicious candy. I just brush it through my hair when I'm out of the shower, and I've already got my leave-in conditioner in, so the gel helps to lock in the moisture of the conditioner, and it also helps to bring out and preserve my curls. Like I said, with the amount that I just put in my hair, nothing is gonna happen really today, I don't think, in terms of effect. It's just, that was just way too little, even for my thin and fine hair. But it does a darn treat, and making my curls look like lovely little ringlets, and it helps to keep them looking that way all day. It is not heavy, it doesn't weigh my curls down, it doesn't feel sticky, like, it's just perfection so I will be purchasing another bottle when I'm at the grocery store or Target tonight I couldn't even tell you how many bottles of that stuff I've been through probably like at least 10 <laughs> I love it another day another empty product uh, it's just a couple days later not that it really matters but I've got the Sunday Riley CEO vitamin C rich hydration cream I was using this as a moisturizer, as I'm sure you could guess, and I've got one serving size left in here. I really enjoyed this. I don't know if it was partially just because of the orange packaging. I really liked that. It also smells nice, nice and citrusy, uh, but it is a nice cream. It does do well, I think. Okay, maybe it was a little more than one serving but I think it does well. It moisturizes the skin. It didn't break me out at all that I noticed, and I thought it was nice. I mean, it's one of those products that I, I don't know that I've ever, like, fallen in love with a moisturizer, have I? Uh, maybe I have, but this isn't one of them. I really liked it. Like I said, don't get me wrong, but I'm perfectly fine with moving on to another moisturizer now that this one is gone. I get plenty of them through BoxyCharm, so it's not like I'm at a shortage of moisturizers. So I am going to move on with my life, but like I said, this was a good one. I enjoyed it, but it's time has come. It's all gone, and I'm moving on to the next one. <laughs> That's empty. So, this setting spray, empty. For sure. Um, I just got a few little spritzes, but the Urban Decay All Nighter 
this is a fantastic little product. I don't know where I got this. This is obviously like a deluxe size. I don't know if this came in some sort of a kit or if it was points that I spent on Sephora's website, but I love the Urban Decay All Nighter. It works very, very well. I, whether it's in a big can of it or one of these mini sizes, the spritzer is always so nice on Urban Decay setting sprays and they really do help to extend the life of my makeup, I think. It doesn't make it get all blotchy or anything. Like, it just overall, it's a great product. I've gone through so many bottles of all-nighter setting spray, and I will continue to. It's a really, really good one. There is a scent to it, but the, it's a scent that's nostalgic and comforting to me because it smells like the all-nighter. I wish I could describe it. I don't know how to describe it. How would you guys, for those of you who also know the all-nighter setting spray, how would you describe it? Because it has a distinct scent to it. It goes away after you spritz it, but that first spritz, you smell it, and it just it smells like all-nighter and it's, it's a good smell. Uh, so anyways, there's a setting spray. How can I show you setting spray working? I really can't, but it's a good one. Like I said, I've been through many bottles. That's another one. Another one in the books, another one in the can. <coughs> oh my God. <sighs> my body is having a reaction to throwing that. There will be more bottles in the future, body. Calm yourself. Ugh. Moving on. We've got a doo-doo joining us. Yeah, yes. But for today, today's empty, I have got, we have got my eye makeup remover slash makeup melter. Yes, do. This right here has been the Drunk Elephant Slay Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. This I fell in love with. I was through multiple tubs of this and uh, then they... <clears throat> excuse me, not only changed the cap, which I understand, keep magnets and stuff out of refills. I loved that original to this day. I know, I still think about it, but uh, I do believe the formula changed a bit also. I mean, it's like any other makeup melter type balm. Uh, it used to work like exceptionally well. I thought this is the one that I would use forever. Um, and then it started working a little less great when I'm pretty sure they reformulated it or who knows Maybe it's all in my head, but ooh, yay, this is recyclable. So yeah, it's a makeup melter and it works mostly well I mean like here you'll be able to see like it'll just melt off my eyebrow makeup I don't have on a ton of makeup today. I've just got on some concealer and cheeks and uh, brows and mascara obviously but like you can see that just completely took it off um, but when it comes to waterproof mascara like I'm wearing today I need to find a makeup melter that will actually melt this off it melts it off to a degree I would say it melts off like maybe 75 to 85 percent of it yeah I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt I do think it takes off maybe 85 percent of it but I want to melt all of it off <laughs> I mean when it came to not waterproof mascara it did an excellent job but now that I have a waterproof mascara back in my life I would like, sorry, am I, do you feel like I'm talking right in your face? But yeah, I would like to actually be able to find one that will melt off waterproof mascara. So if you guys have a favorite one, I would love to know it. I do have one other uh, melter balm that I want to try out in my stash, but uh, if that doesn't work, I need to... <laughs> find something else so I did like this one it is not harsh or anything if and when it goes in my eyes which it always kind of inevitably does it's very gentle and like I said it just it does a great job at melting away the makeup I just wish it could remove waterproof better so <clears throat> that is this drunk elephant makeup melter I'm just gonna go in with a little mini makeup eraser now and wipe it off but yeah like I said I just I just wish it worked a little bit better so I probably won't be repurchasing but then again if no one can recommend me something better I can see myself going back to it so this was a good one but I am hoping there's better out there because it is not perfect Mom. and doo, -doo agrees Mom. 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 
Yeah, it's alright. Uh, uh, uh. Dudu, I wish I knew what you were telling me. Are you telling me the secret magical uh, eraser? Yeah? Uh, if only I spoke cat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on me. I thought that was the only empty. Why are you angled so much more up? Hello? Today's a twofer. We've got the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water all in one. Uh, this one, there is a waterproof one. When Garnier first came out with these years ago, I am talking years ago, uh, they sent me a big PR package of them. Do I even have enough? <laughs> To use I will make do with this amount but they sent me all of them you know like a waterproof one they had a bunch of them that just had different color caps so there's the pink one there's the blue one that I believe was the waterproof removing one and yeah green blue and pink I think and they still do make these and I love them I had I kept all of them all of the bottles you know usually when companies send me PR especially like big PR packages like that I donate a ton of it because I, I just I can't go through all of it but these ones I love so much that I kept them and I have been using them ever since they sent them to me not only to get uh, residual makeup like especially if I wore foundation that day there's usually you know after I've gone in with the makeup eraser I'll go in with the micellar water to really make sure I got it all like in my hairline and just you know places that I can miss like nose crevices and stuff and inevitably there's always some that I missed so I love going in with a micellar water this one or any of the color caps I never noticed a difference between the different colored caps but uh oh I had a train of thought I lost it I lost it and it's not coming back but either way they work really well oh they don't leave behind any kind of like a greasy feeling some micellar waters I feel like they leave behind oh apparently Figaro thought my glasses were trash baby that is incorrect uh, but yeah I really I just I love these micellar waters I think I've got one bottle left <laughs> but uh, I would absolutely go out and repurchase this if not um, I wish I could show you like residual stuff that my makeup eraser didn't pick up but uh, right now I'm just working on the very small amounts of waterproof mascara that are left on my eyeballs can you see there's definitely still some on there i wish i could get that all off but huh, such as such as life until one of you can point me in the direction of a better makeup remover so these were my pair at the moment but now they well they'll remain a pair in the recycling so i'm gonna go put them there but such as that won't be repurchasing as far as i know will be repurchasing but maybe the waterproof one just for another go around. Aha, I am back with another empty. I've noticed we're, we're gonna be spending a lot of time in the bathroom doing empties this way, but uh, I've got this Innisfree Intensive Hydrating Serum with green tea seed. It's a facial serum, sorry, I don't wanna put it that way because I'm trying to get the last little baby bit out of here today. Uh, this was a face serum, like it said, it's supposed to be intensively hydrating. It was hydrating, I'll say that much. Would I say it was intense? No. Would I purchase it? No. But it smells pretty good. It smells citrusy and herbally, and yeah, I just use it on my skin after I wash it, and uh, it doesn't do anything bad, you know? It doesn't leave my skin feeling sticky or anything, but like I said, it doesn't do anything special. So, eh, it was what it was. Here it is, now you can see it, maybe, if the bathroom will want to focus on it uh but yeah that's that's that that was that on to on to the next serum it was pretty unremarkable not in a bad way but also not in a repurchase kind of a way good morning friends today we have a sad farewell i am sad to see this go for multiple reasons first off look at this bottle look at this packaging Y'all know how I feel about good packaging. Uh, this is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Cream. Look how beautiful. Nice little neon key limey green glass jar. It is textured, feels delightful in the hand. And this was an eye cream and it was nice. Oh, it's, 
I don't even know. I think I can scrape up a, a day's worth out of here. Uh, that's, yeah, that's the best I can do. But it was an eye cream and I used it as such. It's really nice and creamy, melts right into the skin, feels deliciously hydrating. I really enjoyed this. Sorry, my camera is having all sorts of trouble focusing today. That is, I'm sorry about that. Do you really need to see me in focus to put on an eye cream though? It just, it feels so good and it sunk right in, but it feels nice and moisturizing. This is absolutely one that I would purchase. I would say repurchase, but I'd gotten this in a BoxyCharm, which I guess I purchased my BoxyCharm. So I would absolutely repurchase this. It was a delight. I'm sad to see it go. I have so many eye creams though that I need to try out. So for now, not repurchasing, but in the future when I don't have any eye creams left, would absolutely think of this guy and purchase it, I guess. So apparently we have a double empty today. This is the IGK Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. I had gotten this a while back, but uh, I just, I get so many leave-in conditioners and it takes me a while to go through them because my hair is so fine and thin that I only need a very small amount when I wash my hair. But I have been using this one on Dan mainly, also myself, and it is so nice. It's smells so good if you like a coconutty kind of a smell and it is really lightweight I don't even this isn't even a good amount for Dan <laughs> but it's better than nothing but it's really lightweight the hair just like <laughs> slurps it in and it doesn't leave behind any kind of a residue or anything it just really helps to unknot the hair babe Come here. We have hair. Hair. It is wet and it is tangly and my baby will not use this unless I put it in <laughs> because he is a man and he forgets these things. Yes. Sorry. I know. Not all men, but you, please, you get what I'm saying. Uh, and you just scrunch it in. It is completely absorbed. Like there's so many hair creams and leave-in conditioners that like they leave that residue behind and like it just kind of sits on top of the hair. This actually goes into the hair and it's just nice. You wouldn't know that it helps detangle based on this man's <laughs> ram nest, but if he were to brush his hair every day, you would be able to hear that it actually does help on days where he has kept his hair mostly unknotted. So it's really good stuff. I would definitely repurchase it. And yeah, that's that's about it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. You like it, babe? Yeah. It, smells it helps. Nice. It does help. It really does. Good morning, my friends. Uh, the time has come to say goodbye to this Tower 28 SOS Save Our Skin Daily Rescue facial spray and by say goodbye I mean it's time to refill this bad boy I do enjoy that that is a thing save the environment yes you can buy big old refills like this so you don't have to keep buying more bottles like this so I'm just gonna give this a little swirly shake my cap is cracked so I just don't want to spill this everywhere that was not a problem of Tower 28 that was Sephora's shipping department uh, but yeah would I repurchase this oops Clearly, I would refill this, actually, I guess would be the proper way of saying this. Oh, what a bummer. I guess there's probably like half a bottle in there. But yeah, I love this stuff, you guys. It is a facial spray where after I wash my face in the morning, I just go ahead and mist myself with this and it resets the pH of your skin and I really have noticed a difference. I mean, right now, I'm a little, I've got some breakouts, I know, uh, but trust me when I say overall, my skin breaks out less when I use this on a regular basis. It really does just help to make my skin feel normal, you know? It makes it so that it's not too dry, not too oily, at least in the beginning, you know? And it just feels refreshing to do. I don't know, I would, I would like to think it's not a placebo effect. Uh, maybe, you know, I don't know, science. It's too early for science, but I really like this stuff. I will continue to buy refills. It's a good product. And I would highly recommend it. Alrighty, oil, oil. We've got a hair oil. This is the verb ghost oil. Smoothing Moringa blend plus weightless hair oil. 
I adore this stuff you guys yes all of the jazz hands behind this product I love it it is so perfect for my thin and fine hair most oils and hair oils are too heavy for my hair I just I don't have enough of it I wish trust me I wish but this stuff is so nice and light. It does the perfect job at scrunching out the crunch if you have curly hair like me. I'm a little premature here. I'm not running late to work, but I'm about to. <laughs> so I need to do this even though my hair is not completely dry yet. But I just, like I said, I love using this to scrunch out my hair gel. It gives my hair some softness, some shine. It is truly weightless. It smells delicious, like an expensive hair salon. Ah, I just, I love it. But the scent is really light. I just, it's, ah, oh, it's so good. It doesn't weigh down my curls. And just overall, it's a nice hair oil. I really, really like it. I've been through multiple bottles of it. Will absolutely repurchase. I have another bottle already. I can't imagine not using this hair oil. It's just, it's so good. Honestly, most of the time, I just leave the residue on my hands because it's not greasy. It's just nice and soft. It keeps my hands soft. <laughs> It's just, it's really good stuff all around. I cannot recommend this hair oil enough. Verb, I love you. Well, I at least, I love your ghost oil. It's fantastic. It actually hurt me to say that. It's phenomenal. Yeah, fantastic isn't even good enough. I love this stuff. Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to my nighttime hand routine where I am out. I am all out of my most favoritest hand cream. <laughs> I cannot squeeze any more out of this. This is the Florena Hand Concentrate with Shea Butter and Argan Oil. It's from Germany. Do you guys need to see me for this? Sorry, I do put on a little little oil into my cuticles, or onto my cuticles before I do my hand cream. So let me do that real quick as well while I just tell you that I love the hand cream. It is seriously my most favoriteest that I have ever gotten. It is just the perfect it's just the perfect. Uh, it does not leave my hands greasy, but it still provides such good deep hydrating moisture. I love the smell of it. I could see it being something that some people would not enjoy. <laughs> Do I just fed you? Mag trauer trockne Hände wieder geschmeidig? Geschmeidig. I don't even know what that means. I also don't know what rauer means. I'm gonna guess rough. I know trockne means dry. So it makes rough, dry hands turn into the, the geschmeidig. <laughs> I don't know what geschmeidig means, but either way, I can tell you I love this hand cream. Like I've said a million times, it's just perfect. I love the smell. I think I was telling you that about the smell. I could see it being some people's not favorite, like I said, but to me, it's just like a clean, fresh, with like maybe a little bit of a light floral to it, but to me it's mostly just like clean and fresh and nice. I think it's a light scent. I mean, it's like a heavier in classification, I guess, of scent, but it's very light. It's not gonna overwhelm you or anything. But you know, like some scents, some scents are light and citrusy and fresh. Some are like more like a rich, clean fresh. That's what I think this is. And it just feels so good. I am so sorry. Dudu is having a moment here. But yeah, my hands are so soft. They are not greasy in the slightest. I can read my book now in bed here and I'm not gonna have greasy fingerprints all over it, but my hands are nice and moisturized. They are gonna stay this way until I wake up in the morning. It's just, I've gone through so many bottles of this stuff. It is just perfect and lovely. I get mine off of Amazon. So if you wanna try a new hand cream, I would personally recommend this one. But like I said, I, I mean, they do have other, not flavors, uh, scents. Like this one is for dr very dry skin. Sehr trockne Haut. Oh, it's also vegan. Yeah, this one's the Shea Butter and Argan Oil. They have other ones that are just like 
olive oil, I think, and whatnot, and they do smell different. I don't think the other ones smell bad, but there was a while where I couldn't get my hands, haha, <laughs> my hands on this one, and I tried the other ones. I didn't like the scent as much. It was perfectly fine. I just, something about this scent does it for me, so... I'm so happy to have my other little bottle there and this one is going bye bye so away it goes my camera my camera is struggling yikes it's me camera don't you see me it's like no I can only see these huge zits on your forehead when you're about to talk about something that helps with your acne <laughs> Well, either way, Curology. This is the one, right? Yes. Oh, nope, that must be the new bottle. Are we sure? I'm so confused. So there's apparently still some hiding in this other bottle. Okay. Well, now you can see. Okay, it's out. It's empty. But Curology, not sponsored. Was once sponsored, but tried it out on my own before I ever even got sponsored. And I loved it. I continue to love it. Listen, it's clearly not a be all end all for acne but my god it made a huge huge difference and continues to make a huge difference in my skin i'm sure you guys know of curology it's like actually dermatologist doctors people prescribe you with a certain concoction to put on your face or whatever and then it does its magic is this better was it just struggling for light but yeah it's 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 pretty magical if you ask me it like i said it's done wonders i still get the hormonal thing you know i'm on my period what can you do but aside from that for the most part my skin just it loves this stuff like i said you can still see some little little blemishes and stuff that pop up here and there but overall it doesn't dry my skin out it doesn't do anything bad to my skin at least not that i've ever thought <laughs> it just it really helps my skin feel nice and calm and balanced and much clearer than when i was not using it so i've been using this for years at this point i can't see myself ever not using Curology. It's just amazing. I use it every single night before I go to bed and my skin and my soul are a lot happier for it. All right, so I would hope that it's obvious, but in case it's not, I just got out of the shower, and so it is time boo -boo -boo -boo, for a leave-in curl cream. So we can hopefully, is it, it they're looking like horrible curls <laughs> straight out of the shower, but either way, we just, uh, this is almost gone. I just spritz this everywhere. The spritz, it's just a little baby sample. And I give it a nice little soaking, my hair, and I think that's it, you guys. I think it's all gone. But this was the Mizani 25 Miracle. I don't have contacts or glasses on, so you can read it better than I can say it. 25 Miracle Milk, 25 Benefit Leave-In. I really liked this stuff, you guys. I just talked about this in a Best and Worst of Beauty that I liked it. Um, unfortunately, I don't love it enough to purchase it. It has fantastic reviews online. Uh, so I might, I actually I shouldn't say I might. I seem to be in the minority. And the only reason is, is because of the scent of it. It's just not for me, the scent. It smells like 25 different kinds of hairsprays. Oh, I know, Dudu, you want breakfast. But Mummy has to comb this through her hair first. Don't you want me to be beautiful while I serve you breakfast, Dudu? Yeah, I know. So yeah, I mean, if it wasn't for the smell, I might be tempted to actually purchase this. Because like I said, I do think it did a good job at uh, perking up my curls, making them look a little happier and bouncier. It wasn't anything to the point where it was like, oh my god, my curls have been transformed. I cannot live without this stuff. But I did notice a difference, so. I'm gonna finish scrunching this through my hair and then I'll be back and I can show you what it looks like dry. And here it is, uh, pretty much dry. It's a little bit of dampness left, but for the most part you can see, I mean, this is without any curl gel on top of it, so it does define the curls a bit. It's not the most, you know, there's definitely still some curls here that don't look the best. But overall, here is what my curls ended up transforming into. But like I said, I think the thing I liked most about this is just that it is really lightweight. It doesn't weigh my curls down or anything. It just kind of helps them a little bit. 
you know, gives them a little, a little more ringlettiness than they would on their own. So there it is. Tis a sad, sad morning, my friends. It is the end of my serum. This was the Herbivore Cloud Jelly Plumping Hydration Serum. It's vegan. It's a serum. It was pink. Very cute. I'm sorry, Dudu is very chatty this morning. Wants his food. Me too. Skincare first, do Then the foods. First we must feed the outside and then we can feed the inside. So yeah, this is just a, a serum. It's very nice, you guys. I loved this in the mornings. It feels so just plumping and hydrating, nice and smooth and soft, sinks into the skin, it's not greasy, doesn't break me out. Like everything about this was just so good. Really loved this. Had to have gotten this in a boxy charm, and dang, that was a nice one. It's not often that I go through a full serum, but this one I really, really loved. I would absolutely purchase this in the future, but I have so many other serums to go through from boxy charm. But this was a good one. Would highly recommend it. My skin loves it. I mean, it's already dry and just mm, so. I will miss you, Cloud Jelly. <laughs> Alrighty, a couple of empties to share with you guys today. First off, getting started doing my uh, skin routine. I've got the eye cream that I've been using. This is the It Confidence in an Eye Cream. Thank you for the assist, Milo. Yes. <laughs> I really enjoy this stuff, you guys. It is nice. I don't like the jar, because it's hard to fish everything out of there. I don't know if the full size, is this the full size? This might be the full size. 0 0.5, 0 0.5 fluid ounces. 0.5 fluid ounces. Um, so it's, I don't like having to dig around the, you know what I mean? Uh, but otherwise the actual cream, really, really good. It's really thick, which I like. Uh, it just feels like it's locking everything in. It is nice and hydrating. Like it just feels like a good old, a good old drink to your eye skin, which I always hate saying, but you know, the skin around your eyes. It just, ah, it feels nice. I know you're supposed to tap, but it feels so much better to rub. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, it just feels good. It feels secure. It doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't run off into my eyes or anything. Like, it's just, it's really nice. It's not like hyper cooling or anything. Like, when I say it feels hydrating, you know, there's some where it feels like your skin's really drinking up water. This doesn't feel like that. It just feels hydrating. It makes your skin feel nice and plump and just overall really nice. I would absolutely purchase this. It's, it's really good. Plus, I'm pretty sure no scent or anything, so really nice. And I also hope it's obvious I just got out of the shower um, where I finished up two products. Native, you guys know their body washes especially. These are just prime, prime, prime amazing. Uh, especially if you can find the candy shop line still. It's one of their limited edition scents, but, um, or line of scents. Sourberry Belts was really yummy smelling. I mean, almost exactly like you would expect and just really nice. Foams up nicely. Feels nice on the skin. Like it just overall, I love native body washes. Doesn't break me out. Like really nice. And then this Cetaphil Derma Control Oil Removing Foam Wash. I did not care for this. It was fine. It was obviously fine enough for me to go through the whole bottle, but uh, first off, I'm pretty sure foaming things are supposed to be bad for your skin. I know I just talked about a foaming body wash, but like I feel like I hear that with face washes especially. Um, I just, I didn't feel like, granted, it didn't do anything bad for my skin. Like I said, that's why I was able to keep using it, but the pump broke pretty early on to the point where it just like, it's really hard to use. And like I said, it didn't do anything good or bad for my skin. It maybe dried my skin out a little bit more than I prefer. And just overall, eh, I wouldn't purchase it again. But like I said, it wasn't so bad that I couldn't go through the bottle, but eh. Yeah, you're running on empty, aren't you? You want breakfast. Me too. Let's go eat. 
All right, there you have it. Yes, the majority of which was skincare. I mean, I just, I, I've never been one to go through makeup. I just, I have too much of it. Um, that's definitely a privilege that I have. But in terms of skincare, I do like using up my skincare, my hair care, that sort of stuff. So I hope this was helpful for you all in seeing and hearing about my current slash last year's <laughs> collection of skin and hair care. Please let me know if you have any favorites or what your most recent empties were. Do you agree or disagree with my reviews on these products? You know, anything you want. Leave them in the comments below. Also, a big thank you once again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Link and everything is down below for you guys to check out if you want to support my channel through supporting the sponsor. You can always like the video as well. Notifications, thumbs up, subscribe, all of the good things. You know how YouTube works by now. As always, I just hope you guys are doing well though, and until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!